line drive kick. Tyree from the three. Tries to get the edge, but he's swarmed under by the coverage team flying down. They stop him at the 15. Roderick Estime, number seven, is the tailback to his right. And the first pass is complete. It's caught on the edge by Lorenzo Styles, who gallops down the sideline, makes a cut, an electric opening play. There is a flag down way back near the line of scrimmage. Ohio State brought a corner blitz on a first play. Foul. Defense, low to the head, 15-yard penalty. Estime, big physical back from Louisiana, falls forward. Logan Diggs is now the tailback. Second and seven. Diggs swarm behind the line. Third and nine. Tyree, the third different back in this opening series for Notre Dame, is a dangerous receiver out of the backfield. Black guys are showing some pressure here. Yeah, big part of this defense is disguising on third downs. Tyree motions out. Empty backfield. They rush four. Buckner yeah, not escape, and he'll be slammed down. That looked like a design run. This from 33 for the early lead, and he just does sneak it through that upright. Coming away with points on that opening drive. Zach Yoakum won the competition to kick off for the Irish. He drives it to Abuka at the goal line. And Mecca Abuka, one of the young receivers, will have an enhanced role. Added about 15 pounds, working hard in the weight room. Fabian Henderson is the featured back. Another Heisman candidate on this offense. Fans number 57. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Stroud pocket collapses and they've got him. Matthew Jones just a, not quick enough to the outside. And how about Cross? They talked about how quick he can be. Bye guys. Playing quick, low throw to Smith and Jigba, 30th year in coaching for Golden. His defense trying to get off the field on third and long. Crowd flushed, complete underneath. He talked a little noise this week. He certainly made himself a target for Ohio State fans. Jesse Merko rolls and boots it, and Joseph lets it go over his head, but that's beautiful execution. Estime from the goal line tries to bounce it can't get there He'll be tackled behind the line a two-yard loss played a little bit last year, but mostly in mop-up duty Ball start offense number four Half the distance to the goal line Still second down. Tommy Reese said turn the speakers up to 11 I want it as loud as they can go to get ready for this and still you see them early miscount yeah. Empty backfield A rush three, Buckner takes off. Now comes back to the right side. They'll move him around a lot. They use too much play clock. And they pull back to spy the quarterback. Half pocket collapses and he checks it down underneath. And it's dangerous with the football as anybody in the sport. It's a short kick from Sock. from Jigba. Won't have a chance to return it, and a Notre Dame bounce will carry the football into Ohio State territory. So great field position. Smith and Jigba circles back, catches it behind the line, gets a block from Harrison on the edge, and is hammered down hard, loses his helmet. Yeah, they noticed that here. Take it to Henderson. Stroud loops the throw downfield. Grab the hold of it. Defense, number five. 15 yard penalty. Third Irish penalty already moves the ball to the 35. Stroud from the pocket. Launches downfield again. Cut. Touchdown. Oh, incomplete. Harrison had a good chance. Now they swing it in the flat. Luke has knocked down. It's a solid tackle made there in the open field. Third and six. Pressure picked up. Ball out quickly. Gets made on the edge by Abuka, galloping down the sidelines, touchdown! And a nice job by Abuka to be able to get it into the end zone. His first career touchdown. Kick off from midfield because of the penalty in field and just hammers it through the end zone. Off play action, Buckner dumps it down. Going to try to get the ball as many times as possible to Mayer. 
but again, they tackle him. You're looking on TV than it is to make that in person. A little tactical tempo. It's Mayer making the catch again. Butner, he'll be driven back in sacks. On the blitz, it's Tommy Eichenberg, the co-captain. Two straight three and outs for the Irish offense. Sock drives a punt once again. It's so short that it can't be fielded. It's Abuka who lets it roll dead. Mayan Williams, who spells Henderson this year, big physical back, runs through a tackle, and he's a hard running back. And they even went on vacation together in the Virgin Islands. They're very close. Playing with some tempo as they move the six. It's a low throw. It's Got the ball, but he runs right into a clogged front, and the Irish defense stops him for no gain. Mirko into punt. Joseph inside his 20. Will retreat, make a fair catch. He had some space. Backed up again. Irish have had poor field position since that opening field goal drive, and they hammer straight ahead. To me again shows good patience. He's got good feet. Three backs with very different skill sets will be featured all season for Notre Dame. Estime has got it again. Spins out of the tackle. Looked like he was nothing there. They flip it in the flat. That's Tyree. That's it. That's a play that he's going to have to make. They will line him out there quite a bit. Tyree is the back, and the Irish trying to get lined up here. Mayer is in the slot to the left. Ramps him across from him. Buckner looking in that direction, launches downfield, jump ball! Is it intercepted on the carom? Or caught Salerno went up, it was juggled. Denzel Burke was there. He, he's a fifth-year walk-on. The ball is underthrown. Ball looked like it was tipped by Burke, but how about the walk-on, who they say... Oh, my goodness. 29-yard game. What a play. Buckner across the middle has a man wide open. Poised, not awed by this occasion. On first down, Tyree makes a cut. Second and five. It's Diggs in the game. Tailback. Keeper, Buckner ran right in. A little screen, catch made, stopped short of the goal line. Handed off to the up man, that's the fullback, Estime, who dives for the end zone. And there was concern in Ohio State faithful about this defense. Would they see instant improvement on graduate student now? Go to Holly, who's got an important report for the Buckeyes. Keep an eye on that bicycle on the sidelines. And there's a movement snap, movement penalty on Ohio State. Stover comes in motion. They run it back to the right. Henderson bounces it. And that's a solid gain. And another carry on the pitch. Henderson scoots to the edge. A two-man rush. They drop nine into coverage, but still. And then throw the football right over top of Morrison, who's a true freshman. Playing fast, a low throw. Tight ends asked to do a lot of edge blocking and be playmakers here at Ohio State. Strap plenty of time. Steps up and delivers over the middle. Incomplete. Tried to find Harrison. Need nine on this third down. The Irish this time do bring some pressure. Stroud gets it out, complete to Fleming, but he's tackled short. Five-yard delay penalty to give Merkel a little more room to punt. Delay a game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. That's the way Notre Dame yep. likes it at the moment. Yep. Drops the point. Sit high with back spin, and that's the second time merko has been able to do that. Strong start for the Ohio State punting team. Butner still has not thrown an incompletion tonight. Eight for eight. Diggs on the delay. Lowers the head and picks up about four. Oh, in a low scoring game. About a six year period. Keeper. Butner shows some quickness and dives across the 20 for a first down. Those veterans come back around 
from their NFL teams and hang out at South Bend in the summer, mentoring the younger offensive linemen. Second and three. Diggs runs right into heavy traffic and gets nothing there. Ronnie Hickman, the safety, came up to join the front. It'll be third down. Play clock at three. Buckner. And that'll be the first incompletion of the night. I'm going to review this play to see if perhaps the there was targeting. The previous play is under further review for potential targeting. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. This is a polarizing rule. Obviously, player safety should be the, one of the most important things, but this is the kind of thing that is taking a while for this review that drives I'm fans Bill, crazy. Aren't you? Aren't yes. You Bill? Yeah. I, I After further review, there is no foul for yeah. targeting. It took a while, but we think the correct decision made, and Notre Dame will punt. So he was looking for Mayer, but finally Buckner throws an incompletion in his first career start. They were able to gain a little field position before sending John Sott out there. Abuka standing at his 41. And this point is his best. It drives Abuka all the way back and makes an over the shoulder catch at the 20. He loses the initial wave of the coverage team, but excellent execution. They tackle him back at the 24. Much of a hand. You fake it. Now Williams does take it up the left side. Just shoves a tackler. Receiver is bunched to the right. And early traffic. A play action. Stroud checks it down. There's Smith and Jigba not able to escape. Smith and Jigba, one of the most elusive guys in the country. Quick release. Stover's got it. Wrestled down at the 40. Pre-snap chess game here. Buckeyes took a look at the defense, made the adjustment. Stroud looks underneath. And it's a who knives for a first down in Notre Dame territory. Accurate dart by Stroud. And brought that middle linebacker. It's picked up nicely by Mayan Williams and gets that ball out in a hurry. And again, Ohio State, I think the reason you're seeing more tempo, they want to try to get this Notre Dame defense on its heels. Book has been the main target tonight. Five catches. This is Stover. Second catch of the drive just bounces off a tackler there. He's got it. Bounces it to the left. Creates some space. And that's his best run of the night. The feature back for Ohio State. Makes an impact. First down. Freshman record held by Maurice Claret last year. Stroud on the move. Pressure delivers to the end zone. And it's incomplete. Tay Martin and company worked over this Irish secondary. They held up pretty well tonight. Stroud has time. Plenty of it. Delivers over the middle, but it's an inaccurate throw. Abuka was running free. He had beaten his man throw behind him, who won the Rose Bowl with a chip shot and missed only one of his 21 field goal attempts last year. He's still. No, he missed it. It came right. Defensive coordinators, they're very smart and experienced. So we can be complex on defense. Look at this, a downfield shot. Handed off underneath. That trend would continue in, in a game like this. Sot felt some pressure. They came after him up the middle. It's a good punt. Abuka has to retreat. Career down there is a good it, start. It was a good start. Didn't seem losing a whole lot often after that. <laughs> Jackson Smith and Jigba, the top rated receiver in college football, limited, nursing a leg injury. We'll see if he can make an impact in the second half. Just one catch in the first. We'll see if Stroud can flip a switch in the second half. And Jigba's in the game to begin the second half. They're hoping they can get something from him this half. They targeted Harrison in the first play. He had just one catch in the first half. Good job again by the defense. 
Lead six here. Irish rush four. Stroud has protection. Pump fake and now fires a low inaccurate throw. If you go out of sync, out of rhythm, out of whack, it's they're they're definitely not clicking at this point. Joseph to make the fair catch at the 28 yard line. Unnecessary roughness. Kicking team number nine. By far the best. Buckner straight back. Hit as he throws. Delivers downfield. And it was over the head of Styles. Play action. Buckner back pedals. Ball was tipped at the line and falls incomplete. Buckner, after starting eight for eight, has missed on four in a row. Pressure again. Flushed. Skins the field and just tucks it. Makes a man miss. Slides down. And a flag comes in as he's hit. There's obviously contact. The play, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 12. 15 yard penalty. First down. Day cannot believe it, Kirk. I think we've seen an increased emphasis on protecting quarterbacks in college the way it's done in the NFL. Yeah, they, they do a good job of taking away all of his options. Blitz up the middle, forces him out. It's actually picked up. Look at the coverage. Nobody open downfield. He's just going to eat it, try to get as many yards as he can. And he looks like as he's going down, Bill, I'd love to hear your take on this. You go into that feet first slide. If you haven't committed, which he hadn't, it's going to be a foul for a late hit because the ball is dead. The second you break down. Second unnecessary roughness on the Buckeyes moves the ball to the 35. Estime and not escape the tackle of Eichenberg. It's a tough play in space by a linebacker. Bill, Look at educate play. everybody here on committed with ransom. Does he look like he's committed? He had the opportunity to avoid that hit. Did he? He was not. I don't have him committed to it to, to the hit. Okay. It's right on the edge. Yep. Tyree motions back in on second and 11. Only a time on the play clock. Buckner pressured immediately, escapes again, and protects the football as they come after it. Zach Harrison got there in a hurry. He just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, right here again. He, he has had a heck of a, a game tonight. Michael Hall, just un, nobody picks him up. Miscommunication with Josh Lug, the right guard. And just him being able to get inside there blows that entire play up. Buckner had nothing to do but just try to escape. Another big third and long for this Notre Dame offense. Just two for eight. That's been one aspect of the game that has not been efficient so far for Notre Dame. Five man rush. Buckner delivers in a heavy traffic. It's incomplete. John Sott, one formation, trying to do what. His counterpart, Murko, did effectively in the first half, kind of delayed. Pin back to give it to Mayan Williams. And powers across the 10. Freshman out of Maslin. Williams off the right side again. Breaks free. Williams, first down run. You know, Smith and Jigba. Apparently, as Holly reported, done for the night, just the one catch. It's the kind of injury he, he was grabbing his left leg. We don't have a real diagnosis yet, Kurt, but that's the kind of thing, if you don't protect it, if you're not prudent, it can you really linger. Yeah, you got to be smart the whole season in front of you. Gets it out on the edge. is going to play an important role with number 11 out tonight. And Ryan Day starts to look down at that play chart, and he's adjusting on the fly. Week one, teams on the ropes. Notre Dame, to their credit, come up. They've come up with a good plan to try to keep everything in front. He's running the ball and he's getting the ball outside in a hurry. Quick throws to his receivers. Third downs have been a struggle. Not even third and short, even automatic, but they do muscle it straight ahead and move the six that time. Let's see if he goes back with a new set of downs. Goes back to trying to run the ball. He's really forced to do that with the Notre Dame scheme and how they're trying to. Not let the ball get behind them in a vertical passing game. 
And Stroud into a seam. The throw is high and off the hands of Stover. Tight window back into the boundary, trying to get the ball over top of the corner. Cam Hart, who has pretty good size, almost a 6 3 corner. Number five, the ball would have to be perfectly thrown to get it into Cade Stover. Veteran linebacker Bo Bauer, we saw him down to the field. Looks like it may be a cramp. He was riding a cart to the locker room and he posted there. The play action. Stroud has to spin away from pressure and deliver underneath to Ballard, who makes a catch. It'll set up a third down. It's another good job of C.J. Stroud looking out to his the outside of this offense. Watch the feet. Little fake gets to the right. Everything's taken away. See those safeties, how deep they are downfield? There's just nothing there for C.J. Stroud. And the whole point here for Notre Dame is we want him to take that second and third hitch, create hesitation and doubt. It's exactly what they've been able to do consistently tonight. On third and six. Pressure again. Stroud pulls it, sprints, and delivers. Caught, but short of the first down. Abuka got it, but he was wrestled out of bounds. Bracey is right there to make the play. Tariq Bracey. Even on this play, Chris, even though they came close, brought some pressure from the outside. Good job by Mills, Riley Mills, forcing him to step underneath. That tight coverage makes the catch, but comes up short. You're counting on Abuka making a guy miss there. Could not escape. And drop of the head from Ryan Day. I think he had expected his offense to come out firing, make some tweaks. Instead, they have to punt. Again, Marco on the run. And fair catch made at the 11. Ohio State does at least succeed in backing up Notre Dame yet again. 50-yard punt, backing up Buckner again. Got to be very careful down here. And cautious call. Estime lowers the head and falls forward for a few before Ty Hamilton, which seems the brother like, of Davon, made the stop. Seems like this offense has been almost seems like every possession starting inside their their 15-yard line. With a lot of these drives forcing them to be smart and calculated with their play calling, at least on the initial start to the drive. It's been a while since Buckner's had a completion. Oh for his last five. Does Reese dial up a pass on second and nine. Now they hand it off again so playing it very cautious estimate knocked down by Eichenberg. It'll set up third and long. They bring in their not only are they bringing the linebackers to occupy those linemen the safeties also see the backers the watch here in the back end also safeties kind of replace those backers once those backers fill not a lot of room to run the ball Ohio State just anticipating a conservative approach obviously from Notre Dame they get pretty aggressive against the run Tommy Reese not conservative by nature you'd agree right he's an aggressive guy yeah. but playing complimentary football tonight with poor field position and an inexperienced quarterback now though Try to throw for it in third and six. Buckner backpedals and delivers a throw, and the catch is made by Mayer. He's still running. Cross the football has to fall, and it took a very lucky bounce for the big fella, but they move the sticks and avoid the turnover. And a great job of recognizing, of course, you want to get it to Mayer, but Ohio State, instead of having a bigger body, they end up having a corner. Cam Brown is on him, who's very capable in coverage, but I don't know if he can handle the physicality. A little push off at the top of the route. And Mayer is a big man for a corner to try to match up with. Uncanny instincts. He's, he's, he reads the defender's feet, their body, knows how to get open, box out. Lost the handle there in the open yeah. field. Again, very fortunate. They have a bounce back to him. There's a keeper on the edge. That Buckner took a peek downfield. Eichenberg forced him out. I just want to go back to the, how he got open on third down when Ohio State had a pretty good idea they're going to try to throw him the ball. They put a good corner on him, but you can see the size. And he does a nice job of, for a young quarterback, putting it up in the air where Mayer can go up at 6-5 and make that play over the undersized corner. He's not used to having all that room after he makes, he's rumbling, fumbling, stumbling, right? 
Yeah, very lucky. Looking at the top tight end along with Brock Bowers in college football this year. Behind the six and second down here, Estime. He's been the workload tonight. Play clock winding down. Charge timeout. And spend a timeout. Notre Dame, their first. So this is a quick moving third quarter. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Second and 11, Tyree tries to get to the edge. Does, but not much there. Bumped out there by Lathan Ransom. A completion by Buckner. They need eight. Tyree to the left of the quarterback. Four man rush. Delivery on the far side into traffic incomplete. Quite a punting duel tonight. This is the sixth for John Sott. Again, the grant transfer from Harvard. And with Smith and Jigba apparently out of the game, Abuka has the full time punt return duties. This is a low kick, but a line drive fair caught at the 30 yard line. Quality non conference teams have come in here and had success. Play action. Stroud escapes the rush of Foskey and delivers downfield. And it is a completion. Abuka came back and made the catch right in front of the bench. Ball start. Offense number 79. Five yard penalty. First down. It's Jones. Big fellas dropped a whole bunch of weight. Still clocks at about 350. Yeah, and look, look how Stroud waits into that last possible second. Nice job there by Abuka working back to the football and then getting a foot down to get that, that first down. But then they negate that in the very next play with a five yard penalty. Abuka came in with monster expectations, had a tremendous high school career in Washington State, and he has stepped up big tonight. Nine catches for 90 yards and has the only Ohio State touchdown. And Stroud play action and it's a long throw and the catch made at the 48 by Marvin Harrison Jr. Is that a, a quiet night just his second catch matchups and maybe get yards after the catch because somebody's going to need to do it if Ohio State wins. Anderson takes the toss gets the first down Buckeyes beginning to use some tempo here. This is what Day had wanted to do against that Irish defense. Her name's done such a good job of messing with Ohio State. He's trying to turn the tables a bit. Anderson still looking for that opportunity. For the home run, he's been held well in check tonight by this Irish defense. Ryan Day sees something with that motion. He's got a single safety in the middle of the field. He stopped it. Got a call in to Ryan Day or into C.J. Stroud. Now it's a handoff to Henderson. Barrels to the left. That's a solid gain down inside the 35. That Marvin Harrison also does a nice job of making a good block. Right back to Henderson who makes a cut and runs square into the defense here. Howard Cross. Stroud lofting downfield on the sideline. Incomplete. Harrison's a big guy, but that was over his head. DBs in this Notre Dame team that have impressed. Jaden Mickey, Ben Harrison. Nice baptism to college football. Showing confidence without safety help. CJ delivers underneath it's Stover who makes the catch holds the football as they try to rip it out of his hands. Excuse me Ballard. More of a vertical threat but Hartline says he's worked very hard to become more of a complete receiver. Eighth play of this march here. And looking to Henderson and they'll take a gain of about four on first down. Can you get a touchdown in the red zone? They pick up the pressure, but now Stroud has to spin away. A couple of flags down. He delivers incomplete. This is right in the holding zone, though. And it get Ohio State for a holding. Looks like 74. Donovan Jackson may be called here. Two flags came out simultaneously. You get down in the red zone. It's the first official red zone trip for Ohio State. The worst thing you can get is a, yeah. other than the turnover is a right. holding penalty. You can either holding could be a chop block too with uh, Trevion Henderson 
trying to pick up a blitz up the middle. Henderson walking off. There are two fouls on the play, both on the offense. Holding offense, that penalty's declined. Personal foul, shot block, offense. That penalty be assessed, 15 yard penalty, second down. Well, that's worse than a holding penalty, 15 yeah. yards. It's 74 was was the hold. He's the left guard right there. But watch Trevion Henderson get involved anytime you engage and then go underneath. So Williams in the game, second and 21. Stroud has time. They're going to give him that cushion, but Xavier Johnson, graduate from Cincinnati, this guy plays a little running back, a little cornerback, little receiver in his career. Been an impressive. Three Bracy is down. That's why the clock has stopped. 37 seconds in the third quarter. This is such a crucial part of this game. Look about the the red zone trips deciding at those, those crucial third down plays. Henderson is back in the game. Big moment here. They bring late pressure. It's picked up. Stroud right down the middle. Touchdown. And it is Xavier Johnson. Irish defense gambled with the pressure and lost big time on that play. 24 yard strike. Tyree from the one. They are solid in kickoff coverage. You've got to make back to the 15 yard line. The crowd, which had been pretty subdued for a while, comes to life. First points of the second half there. You said loudest spot of the stadium, this closed end. They're going to make it tough on Buckner. You have to spend a timeout. So he scores a touchdown, and then he gets a chance. You've got to rely on people that. Or down the depth chart to help you make plays. I just love a guy that's on this roster of future NFL guys, and he's a dude who's just bided his time. Comes from Summit High School, Cincinnati. And off the timeout, Buckner looks to throw. And it's a downfield shot, and the catch made of the 45. Beautiful throw to Braden Lindsay, who makes his first impact play tonight. Little switch release. Take another look at that 32 yard completion that ended the third. It'll be somewhat controversial. On the sweep, handoff, Tyree. A quick burst. He's got a first down at the 41. Watch two things. The ball in the hands, and then watch the field judge on the left side. It was the same view as this camera. Appears to signal incomplete there. And then after he does that, then he changes. And keep rolling. You'll see Ryan Day come in to his left saying, what, what in the world? You just waved that off. So yeah, a little ball definitely for... moved, but did it touch the ground? Lindsay. They, they didn't call down to take a, a look. Or did they make an announcement that it was even under review? Play action, Buckner back pedals, lost downfield, caught in traffic, and here comes a flag. Crowd will not like this call either. Cam Jordan was tangled up with Salerno, who made one of the biggest plays of the first half, but it's against Notre Dame. They're going to call offensive pass interference. Pass interference, offense, number 29. 15 yard penalty now, first down the reason they call that is Cam Brown is working and looking back at the football trying to get to his point and pushes him to the ground first and 25 keeper Buckner no slide this time dives into Ohio State territory trying to get some of the yardage back Eichenberg stopped him they've been colliding a few times tonight still has his hands full tonight and even in this series, but definitely starting to kind of feel much better reading the Ohio State defense and trying to get the ball out of his hands. Buckner's done more running tonight than Jack Cohn did all year. Yeah. On the end around Tyree, they're all over him, battle.
Wells to get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and 18. And Jack Sawyer, highly touted right here out of Pickerington, the Columbus area, sets the edge to this defense against Mayer. He works upfield, he keeps his outside shoulder free. There's really nothing Tyree can do. He can't get outside. He's got to cut it underneath. But the rest of those scarlet jerseys are flying around. Nice play by 33. Comes the noise on third and very long. Buckner. Takes his way, but they are not going to ignore the quarterback in that situation. Michael Hall Jr., another big play. The offensive P.I. ruins the drive. So the fifth straight Notre Dame possession to end in a punt. Sutt again hesitates, no pressure. Picks it high with back spin, and they are going to be able to down it. Initially touched inside the five yard line. So Stroud hands off to Henderson. CJ was five of six for 71 yards in that touchdown in the last drive to Xavier Johnson. Another one of the intriguing matchups of this opening Saturday night of the season. Henderson. Takes a shot but falls forward. They move the sticks to the 17. Riley Mills brought him down. Stroud stretches the field and delivers to Harrison underneath. Short gain tackled inbounds at the 21. Talk about this interesting chess match all night long. Al Golden and this veteran defense. So football savvy. Made that big gambling call. That blitz call that resulted in the touchdown. Yep. One call he's made that's really backfired. Henderson knocked down. It'll be third and short. Well, I thought uh, Marvin Harrison came close to stepping out of bounds. It wasn't that it was a big game, but it was positive yards there on that first first and ten play. Ohio State now at third and short. Every down, every series critical. Now with 10 minutes, close to 10 minutes to go in this game. Williams spelling Henderson in the game. In no hurry here. Very patient. Trying to make sure that Dave makes the right call for the look. Play clock down at four. Stroud well protected for a while. Now it breaks down. He's on the move, trying to make something happen, and flips it down the sidelines. And the catch is made. Mayan Williams, the running back, is Stroud again. Makes a pinpoint throw on the run. How about the effort? How about the effort by Mayan Williams to come back? He's looking over the middle of the field here to try to make this throw. It's too cloudy. Shows athletic ability to keep that play alive. Williams now in the carry. Playing with some tempo. And then Maya Williams was all the way down the field against that bare front man to man coverage. He comes all the way back. Wow, that was close on the sideline. So he throws back against his body in a full sprint and drops a dime in there. On the run, Stroud makes a long, low throw, and the catch is made by Harrison. Went down to the 49. Somehow got that big body down to scoop the ball off the carpet. And another first down. Ohio State going very fast right now. Gets his hands underneath that football. There's a pre snap penalty on Ohio State. Part of the snap, false start. Offense, number 79. Five yard penalty. First down. With some crucial plays, clutch plays made by Stroud on third down in this quarter. Not going to have an eye popping statistical night, no. but he has been sharp without his top receiver and, tonight. And Chris, how often last year do we see him throwing in rhythm, hitch, ball out? You know, occasionally you'd see him get outside. He never scrambles to run, he's scrambling to buy time, eyes downfield, make throws. But a few of these tonight, he's been running for his life, showing speed to get away from the pressure, and then still able to throw and make first downs. Chris Olave looking on. 
They bring the blitz up the middle. Williams runs through it and fights hard. Try to push the pile. He's within about four yards of the marker at the 43. Those backers blitzing, trying to shoot gaps, getting aggressive as Ohio State keeps moving the football. Mayan Williams, nice job of cutting that back. Stroud, another long, accurate throw. Harrison comes back, still trying to fight for yardage. Terrence Lewis wouldn't let him get away. He's throwing on time. It's a long throw to make. The ball's got to be out on time. Ball's out now. Pretty tight coverage. If that ball is thrown with one more hitch, it's an incompletion, possibly intercepted, but he got it out early enough to give Harrison a chance. And way back on this drive, they've taken nine plays to move it 61 yards. And the clock ticking midway through this final quarter. Williams. Not much there. Actually, more than I thought. He, he kind of got the edge before Bracey forced him out. They'll take that gain on first down. Yeah, and it was a slow developing play. And the only reason he got positive yards is the receivers blocking downfield. Exactly what Ryan Day would have hoped for on this drive, especially if they can come away with points. But they have chewed clock and moved into scoring position. Williams again has a hole, breaks a tackle, and barrels down inside the 15. Mayan Williams has been grinding away patiently and pounding away at this defense. Ran over Henderson there. Watch Whipler climb up to the second level. He's not covered up. Low center of gravity like a bowling ball compared to the more explosive Trevion Henderson. The bowling ball is, is rolling, and so Ohio State team continues to patiently Work on this clock. Down in the red zone now. Beat him again. Off the left side. Williams knocked down at the three. And the body blow is really beginning to take a toll on this Irish defense. First and goal. Beat him again. This time they knock him down at the line. What did Ryan Day tell his team? Really all offseason, but especially this week. They say you're talented. They don't say you're tough. They hear that. They've dedicated this offseason to a drive like this in the fourth quarter. Second and goal. Williams fights to the goal line and crosses it. Ohio State stretches the lead in the final five minutes. And Mayan Williams was the man on that possession. 14 play. Ohio State offense pounding away on the ground. He's been, you know, kind of in the shadows of Travion Henderson. He's the workman like tough guy. Yeah. Tonight he's been the man of the backfield. It's Tony Alford, his running back coach, talking to him after a seven carry, 49 yards, and a touchdown. Also a reception for 12 yards on third down. Busy on that drive. And Notre Dame now needs two touchdowns in the final five minutes. Can't be patient. Can't be cautious anymore. Got to let it rip. Got to go to work here, Kirk. They have got to kind of go against the strength of this offense and try to make some plays downfield. It's incomplete to Lindsay. We've talked so much about the Notre Dame defense keeping him in this game. How about the job that Jim Knowles' defense has done? Notre Dame has punted on five straight possessions. And not only that, they've had three possessions in the second half, all punts. Knowles' group pitched a shutout so far in the second half. Buckner tried to get it to Mayer. Tight coverage, broke it up. It'll be third down. Steel Chambers made the play. And let's face it, with Ohio State kind of stuck in second and third gear offensively, they've needed to get the ball back. They've needed Jim Knowles, this big defense. Everybody wanted to see, and they've stepped up up to this point. They sure have. Give up a 54-yard play on the first play from scrimmage. He thought, uh-oh, more of the same. They have tightened up since allowing that one touchdown.
They back out. Four-man rush, and he gets home. Michael Hall Jr. has been their best defensive player tonight. Nice to be able to get pressure without having to blitz, and he has had a night. The coaches warned us about him, and he has done it. He fights here, gets caught up, moving to the outside with 33. Jack Sawyer creates a little doubt with that offensive line. You can see Blake Fisher unsure should he pick up 33 or 51. It frees up Mike Hall, and Mike Hall is having a night. Two tackles last year. But one of those guys that you know, stepping into a bigger role, his natural ability, he's, he's freaky, strong, tremendous athlete, and he has been dominant tonight. And that sack forces Notre Dame to kick it away in the final four minutes. It's a long boot, tremendous boot, way over Abuka's head, still rolling. Travion Henderson spinning free and ran over Ramon Henderson, who's been taking some blows from Ohio State backs in recent plays Boy, for 11. That's a different running style from Trevion Henderson. C.J. Stroud coming over and giving him some love. Think you saw Williams over there? So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what he did? Hey, you you go wear him down on that 95-yard drive, and then I'll come in on the back end of that. Lowered the shoulder. Roll reversal, right? Yeah. He was proud of himself too. Came back to the huddle, clapping. Well, it's been some. Unsung stars for Ohio State. It's a deep roster, you know, stacked with future players on Sunday, but it's been some guys that very few outside of Columbus have heard from coming into tonight. Carry to the 33. Holly? Well, guys, this Ohio State sideline has been absolutely electric after that long drive where they ran the ball down the throat of this defense. Mayan Williams, the offensive line, literally they came skipping off. Ryan Day met them out there screaming, great drive, great drive. They are so fired up that they are finally proving people wrong, showing them that they do have the toughness to run the football. And right before they took the field for this drive, Ryan Day went out there again and hyped them up, screamed in their face. And this offensive line, they are so proud of the toughness they're showing right now, guys. And Holly, you know that it's not just going to be tonight. Other teams are going to use this blueprint, so it's going to be something they've prepared the entire season knowing they have to have that versatility. And don't you think, given the narrative, Kirk, and the messaging from Ryan Day, this kind of a win for a lot of the guys in this team is way more satisfying than just all the offensive fireworks and winning a shootout, which they yeah. did a few times last year. Yeah, you get pushed. I mean, this is a good Notre Dame team, as we've seen. I look forward to watching them the rest of the year. They came into this, this game on the road with an attitude of, hey, we're not going to just be conservative and look for a moral victory. We're coming in here to win it. They were very well prepared. So Ohio, took, Ohio State took their best shot, had to change their game plan on the fly, and went back to the old fashioned way of winning with defense and running the football. You just need a few inches here on third down and Stroud's going to keep it. You know this is a, a really satisfying win for a lot of reasons. You've got the legends of the past all these former Ohio State greats some football were here. LeBron James their most famous fan was here. And Justin Field, yeah. Chris Olave. I mean there were so many alums back and maybe more importantly what they hope will be the next wave of Buckeyes. You got 10 uncommitted five star recruits. Do you know how crazy that is in the landscape of recruiting? Oh, yeah. Most programs would love to have yeah. one right. five star. You right. got 10 of them, a whole bunch of four stars, and all their committed players are, are here. It's a huge recruiting showcase game. And they get to showcase a great environment in this stadium. And this is maybe yeah. Ohio State. In 22, and let me we, just, have, we hope Smith and Jigman can come back and be healthy and make an impact. Let me That's just for say sure. this about Ryan Day and Ohio State: there's a lot of pressure on this team to win every game by 20 points or more. This is a game week one against a very talented, determined opponent. This is where you survive. You're proud of how you had to adjust, learn how to win a different way, and move to the next week. You don't dwell on what could have been, what should have been. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? It's a great win against a good team. You move on to the next game. Irish and Marcus Freeman will drop to 0 and 2 as a head coach. It'll get easier. Marshall, Cal, North Carolina next. This could be a dangerous team and a tough team to beat for anybody they play that's on their schedule. The Irish battle follow their blueprint, but a physical Ohio State team scores a touchdown in the third and a touchdown in the fourth quarters.